Never in my life did I think I'd tell people to eat cottage cheese in their ice cream, but sometimes you surprise even yourself. Cottage cheese in your ice cream might sound really gross, especially if you're like myself, who has never even liked the look of cottage cheese. But you have to think of this as an ingredient in your recipe. For example, most people don't like eating raw eggs, but they do like brownie batter. Now, adding cottage cheese makes for this really thick, denser, creamier texture, and it doesn't add a lot of calories. Half a cup of this stuff adds just 70 calories, 12 grams of protein, 6 grams of carbs, and of course, 0 grams of fat because this is the fat-free variety. There's a good amount of sodium in here, and when it comes to adding flavor, some people find it adds a bit of saltiness, and maybe they're adding a lot more than me because I'm not really getting that. For me, I find it pretty flavorless, but it adds a bit of tanginess, so that combined with the denser texture kind of reminds me of like a cheesecake. If you want to reduce the sodium, apparently you can rinse your cottage cheese, but I don't want to look at the stuff any more than I have to. I just want to get right into my recipe. And I'm going to be making two different batches here of the same thing, one with cottage cheese and one without. On the left, we've got my go-to recipe, which is one scoop of protein powder, and I'm using the Muscle Milk Slam and Strawberry flavor, a quarter teaspoon of xanthan gum, two tablespoons of sweet coffee creamer, and then I'm going to fill it with milk to the fill line. On the right, we've got the exact same thing, except with a third of a cup of cottage cheese mixed in. And you can use more cottage cheese than that. A half a cup would be perfectly fine in this mix, and I've seen some other recipes that go even up to a full cup of this stuff, but I'm not ready to go there yet. We're then going to blend our mixes and then we're going to put them in the freezer overnight and then we wait. And then we pull them out of the freezer and then we wait another 15 minutes and then we can start our spin cycle. And I'm going to mix both of these on sorbet once, add some liquid, and then again on light ice cream. And if I were making this just for myself, I'd spin the one with cottage cheese on the ice cream setting twice, but I want to keep this a controlled experiment. So I use the combination of sorbet into light ice cream and I found that works best for me. They're both done spinning and we can see the one on the left makes for this light and fluffy and soft serve like texture. I'm calling this one strawberry shortcake. Meanwhile, the one on the right makes for this really thick and scoopable ice cream that holds its shape really well. And I'm calling this one strawberry cheesecake. And if you had some fresh strawberries, you can mix those in and be really nice in here as well. Both of these flavors, they taste great. And I've been really enjoying this flavor of protein powder. It's linked below and it seems to float on Amazon between 20 and $26 for two pounds a container. I use just a single scoop in here, so it's really 22 servings and not 11. Written recipe and macros are in the description. Please subscribe if you want to see more stuff like this, and let me know in the comments what you want to see next.